Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video we're going to take a look at how to update a Unify access point via SSH. All right guys, so in part one of this series, how to update a unified devices firmware via SSH, we showed you how to do that on a Windows platform where we downloaded the firmware file, we had to change the name, we had to copy the file uh, using WinSCP from the local computer to the uh, device, and then we used PuTTY to initiate the upgrade process. Today, we're gonna show you that same process on the Mac using the terminal app, and we're gonna show you just by using these two commands, how simple it is to consolidate that process. Let's get started. All right, guys, so let's get started by downloading the firmware file from UBNT's website. So I'm at ubnt.com. So I'm gonna come up to the downloads link. And then on this page, I'm gonna click on Unify. And then along the left side, I'm gonna pick the device. So in this video, we're going to be updating Unify APAC Pro, so I'll click on that. Here's the latest file firmware. It's 4.0.10. So we'll come all the way over to the right and click on the download link. We'll go ahead and click accept. And we're going to download uh, this bin file here to the local computer. Okay. Now that the file's been downloaded, what I want to do is I want to move that file from my downloads folder out to my desktop. So here's the file right here. So I'm going to move it over to my desktop. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go into the UBNT discovery tool, which is right here. So I want to get the IP address of the device. And you can see right here, the device is at 192.168. 25.172. So now that we know the address of the device, we can close the UBNT discovery tool. And let's go ahead and launch the terminal window. Okay, now the first thing I want to do is go over that command I showed you earlier. I want to break it down for you. So let's just paste it into the terminal window. And let's take a closer look. So it starts with the SCP protocol right here. And then right here, this is the path to where the file is downloaded, the location on the computer to where you downloaded the file. This is the actual file itself right here. Now we have to replace this with the actual name of the file that we downloaded. Here's the user ID and IP address of the device we want to update. And then what this part of the command is doing is telling um, where to store the firmware file on the actual UAP AC Pro. So we're gonna, it's gonna put it in the temp folder. And the last part of the file here is it's going to change the name from that crazy uh, characters, BZ, yada, 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 to firmwareupdate.bin. Now we have to replace this with the actual path and file name. We have to replace this with the user information of the AP, and then we should be good to go. So let me get rid of this. Let me show you an easy way to find the path to where the file is stored on a Mac. So if we start off just with the SCP part of the command, if we take the file from our desktop and drag it over into the terminal window, it puts in the complete path and the correct path to where the file is stored. And now here's the actual name of the file. So the next thing we had to do was put in the user information and the IP address. So the user ID, because it's a brand new device, is UBNT and it's located at 192.168.25.172. And then, <coughs> excuse me, and then at that point, we are going to put in the rest of the command, which will um, tell us where 
to store the file on the device and what name to change it to. So at this point, we're going to put colon and we're going to put forward slash temp forward slash FW update dot bin. And if I didn't type that in um, with an error, we should get prompted to accept the key. So I'm going to say yes. And now it wants the password for the device. Again, it's everything is set to the default because it's a brand new device. So the password is UBNT. And now it's copying the firmware file over to the device. And now it's done. So the next thing we have to do is establish an SSH connection into the device and then issue um, the upgrade command. So we'll do that now. We'll establish the SSH connection. And we should have the device's password. And now we're signed into the actual device. And you can see by the prompt that we're in BusyBox. So now we just have to use the second command that I showed you earlier, and that is syswrapper.sh space upgrade to ampers, uh, space and then an ampersand. And it closed the connection. And what's happening now is the device is in the process of updating to the latest firmware. Okay, so now I'm logged into my Unify Cloud Controller and you can see here, I have a couple of devices. Now, ignore the disconnected devices. Those are two devices that I previously adopted and are not currently connected to the controller. They're, they're put away and in the box. They're getting ready to go be installed. But the top one you can see says pending adoption. And that's the UAP AC Pro that we just did the firmware upgrade to. So, all I have to do now is come over to the right side here and click adopt to get this device adopted to the controller. So let's go ahead and do that now. And this does take a few minutes, so I'll come back while it's in the provisioning process, and then we should eventually see a connected status. All right, guys, the device is provisioning in any second now or any moment now, we should have a status of connected. I'm not gonna go ahead and tweak any of the other settings. I just wanted to show you um, by updating a firmware device manually via SSH, you can get it to show up in the controller. And there we go, guys. There's the connected status. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And use those Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.